today I'm extra excited because I'm getting my teeth done. Good morning. Um, so y'all, I am in the parking lot of my dentist office. I am quite early. I'm like 20 minutes early for my appointment. So I'm just sitting here waiting until it's a little closer to the time for me to go in. But I'm so excited. I might be like the only crazy person on the planet that loves to go to the dentist. I absolutely love the dentist. I don't know if that makes me weird because I always hear about people who or read about people who are just like afraid of the dentist or they just hate going and I just can never relate because I love going and today I'm extra excited because I'm getting my teeth done <laughs> I'm getting my teeth done y'all so this is my smile now Take a look, take a look, because it's going to look a little different in just a little bit. Um, I'm getting some veneers because I just kind of want my teeth to look like little chiclets, you know? <laughs> Y'all, I'm totally joking. I'm not getting veneers. I, um, today, I'm just getting, you know, the regular exam, x-ray, deep cleaning. So, yeah, that's what I'm getting. Actually, it's been a while since I've been to the dentist. I kind of let it lapse. You're supposed to go, like, every six months. It's been, like, a little over a year for me which i try to stay on top of things like that but i've been so busy lately it's just kind of slipped through the cracks but then i was finally like let me hurry up and just go ahead and make this appointment and get in there oh my hair my bun is getting all messed up i didn't have any bobby pins and so i just used hair ties today and it's not really holding it up but whatever so yeah what was i saying <laughs> Yeah, I was saying that I kind of, it's been a while since I've been to the dentist, but I always keep on top of things at home. I brush all the time. I floss multiple times a day. Like, I don't play around when it comes to my teeth, when it comes to my mouth. I like my smile to look dazzling and well taken care of because that's like one of the first things that people notice about you is your smile. And I like to keep that looking nice um as well as you know the rest of my appearance and my hygiene and stuff I take care of that but my smile I especially play, pay close attention to but when I go to the dentist I don't know I just always feel reinvigorated I feel like a new person when they do that deep clean my teeth just feel so good so I am extremely excited y'all if you can't tell <laughs> so excited i really shouldn't be this excited for something like this but i truly am i think i'm gonna go in maybe 10 minutes before my appointment time see if they can get me in and out you know so i'll hit y'all back in a bit <laughs> So y'all, I just went and got some fries from Five Guys. Um, this is the first thing I'm eating all day because y'all know when you go to the dentist beforehand, you don't wanna <laughs> you don't wanna eat because you want your teeth to be extra clean. So I didn't eat anything all day, and it's like 12 o'clock now. I'm about to tear into these things, y'all. Oh my gosh! Look at that. Bam, 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 bam. I love Five Guys fries. They're so delicious so i feel like a whole new person my teeth feel amazing um and as expected they are in tip-top shape only thing is y'all they kind of got me y'all know how you go somewhere that's like a doctor's office or a dentist's office or you know just places like that they'll find something wrong with you just so they can charge more so they did my x-rays right and actually i had been thinking about invisalign because i've noticed that my teeth were shifting but i didn't want to bring it up i didn't want to tell them about it i didn't want to voice any concerns like that i wanted to see if they had anything to say about it especially on my left side like my left side when i floss it's a little more difficult to floss on my left side because it feels just more crowded and there's less space in between my teeth on the right side i can floss perfectly fine i just have noticed over the past 
little while like my teeth my mouth just feels like it's shifting a little bit and I kind of played around with the idea of Invisalign just in my mind but I never really thought too seriously about it okay so y'all they did the x-ray and they showed me on the computer they did like a whole simulation of what my teeth look like now and what my teeth would look like if I got Invisalign let me just say it looks so good I'm kind of like I want Invisalign now ah! <laughs> they were like you know it's not like you really need it your teeth look pretty good but if you wanted to fix like the gaps and make everything look perfect pretty much you can get Invisalign and this is your option so it's not like they were pushing it but just showing it to me I'm like dang <laughs> now I kind of want it so yeah no but of course I didn't commit to it or anything I was just like okay good to know but deep inside I'm like mm, I might want to just get that so maybe y'all will see me with Invisalign soon we shall see I'm probably gonna get it y'all I'm not even gonna hold you because it just looks too good and y'all know how I feel about my teeth I like my mouth to be looking on point so yeah that's that but anyway besides that <laughs> the dentist office was good my teeth feel so sparkly and clean so yeah I'm about to go ahead and eat these fries and then I'm gonna go I think I'm gonna stop at the container store because we are getting a new closet y'all and when I say we I mean me <laughs> I'm getting a new closet set up and so um, I want to go to the container store because the closet system that I have now is from Ikea. That closet system has been doing me well but I really need a different configuration and I'm thinking about doing like a different color as well. So I'm going to go to the container store and see, you know, just check out what they have, get some ideas, look at pricing and stuff like that so I can kind of get on the right path of what I want to do. So yeah, I'm going to hit there after I eat these fries and I'll take you guys along so I'll see y'all in a bit. I really like these baskets by the way. <laughs> I think they would be super cool for a pantry. Cool. Maybe something like this that looks a little more industrial. I think that would be cool. I'm at Ikea <laughs> because the prices at the container store gave me a little bit of sticker shock so I wanted to come over here and see what they had let's see oh this kind of looks good over here this is a nice storage piece I like this Yeah. Ooh. Let's see. I really like this piece right here. Looks so nice. 
Yo, I just might have to <laughs> get another Ikea closet because these prices are a fraction of what the container store is. But I'm gonna try another closet company and see what their prices are looking like because I'm not trying to spend an arm and a leg, but I do want a high quality closet. I kind of wanted something that was a little more luxurious, a little better than um, the Ikea ones. So we shall see. Stopped at Whole Foods and got a few things. Got this 100% cold pressed juice. I just wanted something green. Felt like, you know, my body needed it, so I picked this up. Also got some soup. This is the lentil, like the vegan lentil soup. I'm gonna have that for dinner tonight. And then I saw these and they look pretty cool. So I wanted to try them out, these cake bites. They are vegan, so this is what they look like. I'm actually gonna go ahead and try one now to see how they are. Hmm. They're not bad. It's just that the inside of them, I expected them to be a bit more cake-like. And it's kind of giving me mush. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but it's just not the consistency I thought it would be. But it's pretty tasty. I'm not mad at them. Would I buy them again? Maybe, yeah. Tree nut free, soy free, fish free, shellfish free, and sesame free. So they're good for people with uh, food allergies. So that's that. Good morning, y'all. So it is Saturday. I'm getting ready. I have so much to do today, y'all. It is not even funny. Um, so yeah, I'm just getting myself ready because I gotta get ready for the day. <laughs> doing my makeup, just keeping it pretty simple today. I used, of course, my Luna Magic palette. I used this color and a little bit of this color on my eye, just swept it like that. And that's all I have on my lid. Bada bing, bada boom. Such a gorgeous day outside. I'm really excited. So I just have my hair in a low bun like this. I put it like this because I'm wearing, what is it called, headband wig. I did a video on this recently, showing how to style this in three different ways. And I'll link it right here and also down below in the description box. Yeah, I just laid the front of my hair. I did a center part, put everything to the back. So now I'm just gonna take a stocking cap and pop this wig on. I'm trying to put it on, but I don't want it to be uncomfortable. So just need to adjust it because the worst thing is to be out and your wig is too tight. <laughs> It'll give you like a bad attitude all day. Ask me how I know. I have this little thing here. I'm gonna use that as a covering for this band in the front. I'm gonna throw a few curls in this. This is the natural wavy, loose wave or natural wave, one of them. So I'm gonna throw a few more curls in here just to make this more voluminous. I have my curling wand. Um, I think this curl's a bit too big. I'm gonna get a smaller wand and wand it with that. All right, I got this smaller one. I did this side already. I just kind of um, did a couple pieces at the top just to make it look a little more defined. So I'm gonna do the same on this side. Just take small pieces like this and wind it around. I mean, y'all know how to use a curling wand. Whoa. <laughs> um, half the, like half of the hardest part of vlogging is getting the camera set up and the angles. Um, but anyway, before I leave out and commence my day, I wanted to show y'all something. I have a little haul, of course. So I ordered some stuff from an online store called Menier de Bois. It's my first time actually ordering from there. I believe I found them on Instagram, if I'm not mistaken. So I checked out the stuff on their site. It looks really cool. So I ordered a few pieces. I think I got like five items. I'm hoping that everything fits well, looks well, the quality is good. First, this is one thing that I was so excited to get. It's a bag. How cute is this? I love the handle and the color is great as well. It has like card holders in here. 
Oh, I wish it had a zippered compartment inside, but it doesn't. Then we got this top. This is the ribbed crop top in washed gray. Looks like this. I love the hemming on the bottom. It's curved. In the back, it's straight, but it seems really good quality. Like the material is very thick. It has this nameplate on the back with the brand name on it. Next, I got this high neck knitted crop jumper in beige. On the side, it looks a little oversized, so I made sure to get it small. So this is it. I love how the main part is one color beige, and then the arms are a different tone. It has a high neck, so you can roll it down or you can wear it super high up. In the front, I love this detail here where it's kind of has that scoop on one of the sides and I like that so much on the website I actually got it in another color so I got it in green I got this one in a small as well so same deal with this the main part is one tone of green and then the arms are a deeper color and then I got two more tops so the first one is the boucle corset top in cream so it's kind of like it reminds me of a sheep <laughs> and then on the sides it has this faux leather right here so i like the two different textures and it has this hook and eyelet closure all down the front part i really love a corset top i'm really into corsets right now especially and then the last one i have this vegan leather backless top so here it is um i just thought it looked really unique on the model on the um website but you can cinch it up and then you tie it in the back all right so this top i really really like it I love the fit. It was very comfy and easy to put on. And I think it's just a really cool piece for fall. The material, again, is great. Love the curvature as well. Like that little design. All right, y'all. So um, I'm definitely sending this back. This top was really difficult to get on and to like get situated and I just don't think the fit is very good. Like I feel a little too exposed on the sides. And let me show y'all the back. It doesn't look right to me. So this one is going to be returned. I wish it worked out better. But like it's just very uncomfortable to wear. And the fit is not giving me what it needs to give. So no. Alright y'all. So this top. We are liking it. We are liking it. It has these um, thumb holes in the arms. Love this asymmetric moment. Um, and here's yeah we like this top gonna keep it all right this corset top i'm liking it as well it's a keeper of course y'all i have on my favorite jeans of the moment i wear these all the time i feel like i wear these like three times a week and they just go with everything so i wear them with everything and i'm sorry y'all will probably be sick of seeing these but i can't help it <laughs> And here it is with the top fully closed. It's making me look like I have something up top, a little bit of chest, because I don't have much to work with up top, but I feel like this is kind of making it look like I'm a little more chesty than I actually am. So, <laughs> you know, I'm not bad about that. And with the bag. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so here is this sweater. Love the different tones. Paired it with this um, skirt from Zara. Can also wear my bag with it. Uber cute. So I'll link all of these pieces down below in the description box if any of you guys are interested in them. It is later in the day. Already took my wig off, <laughs> um, showered, everything like that. Just made this salad that looks really good. So I used kale. I put some roasted red tomatoes in here, some red onion, avocado, olives, and then y'all know how sometimes people put fruit on their salads, like strawberries. Sometimes people use citrus. Well, I had the bright idea to use mango. I've never done this before, so 
Let me taste it real quick, see how it is. <laughs> I just had this notion that it would be good, so let's see. It's really good. So yeah, anyway, I'm about to have this and watch um, an episode of Dream Home Makeover. Y'all know I don't watch much TV these days, but I do love home decor. So Dream Home Makeover still makes the cut. So I'm about to go sit and be comfy with my salad. And I'm trying to be kind of quiet because I just put my son down for a nap. And y'all know how that goes. So um, anyway, I'm gonna do this, chill out. Morning y'all, it is the next week. I am actually on my way to my workout class. <sighs> y'all, this is like my seventh class and I'm realizing just how out of shape I am because y'all know like when I work out, I just go walking, but I just started to notice that my body wasn't very flexible. I wasn't able to do certain things and I wanted like a full body workout. So y'all, I've been doing this workout class. Like I said, this is like my seventh time. Hold on. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. I gotta get these. May I have a um, medium chai latte with? Do you have almond milk? Let me get a plain bagel, please. Would you like that uh, with cream cheese? No, thank you. And that's it. Okay, we'll see you at the thank you. No problem. Yeah, I had to stop and get something to put on my stomach because y'all. One time I went to this workout class without eating or drinking anything. And I almost passed out in that class. I was like, oh, my blood sugar is low. So yeah, I just wanted to stop somewhere and get something real quick before class because um, I didn't eat anything this morning before I left the house. Poor planning on my part. But anyway, I got this um, chai latte. It's terrible. Oh my gosh. I can't even drink this, y'all. I've been um, getting drinks and stuff from local places. I absolutely refuse to go in a Starbucks unless it's like the last option on the face of the earth. I don't want to go into a Starbucks. So I've been going to like random local places that I see. And I had rolled by this coffee place a lot. The one that I just came from. And my drink is two thumbs down. It's really nasty. Good thing I got a bagel. I just got a plain bagel. Nothing on it. But yeah, y'all, like I've been saying, this workout class has been kicking my you know what. Which is actually a good thing because I totally needed it. I like the challenge. I like the challenge. Y'all, they be doing some moves. With this, I realize just how weak my core muscles are. Like my abs. Because they'll do a move like you have to lay down and roll your like roll yourself up just with your abs. And I was looking around. Most people can do it. Even people who you would think weren't able to do it, they can do it. And I'm just struggling on the floor like this. <laughs> That's my goal. I need to be able to keep up with this class. So hopefully that'll happen sometime soon because I really like to put my all into it. I don't like to be the one <laughs> not doing good. So I'm just sitting here having my bagel. I would have had my chai latte if it was drinkable, but I'm just sitting here having my bagel until class starts. I have about 10 minutes, so I'm just going to chill out. Then after class, I have to go home, get myself together, and head right back out because I got a lot to do today. I'll tell y'all about that later. Whew! I feel the burn. You hear me? Um, I realized today that my... My left side is left flexed. Left. I can't even talk, y'all. I'm so like <laughs> exhausted. Um, I realized today that my left side is less flexible than my right side. So I really got to work on stretching out my left side so it catches up. Whew. But yeah, that was a good workout. Now, hit it home. Get myself cute. Just got fresh and clean. I just threw on this sweatshirt from Aritzia. I got on these earrings. People always ask me where I get these from. I can't remember. I think they're from H&M or Zara. I don't know. And then I just have on some cut off shorts. My, ooh, why am I doing an outfit of the day in the car? Um, anyway, my Louis Vuitton slides and I'm wearing my new bag. Braid it back. By the way, I didn't mention my hair. I just went and got my hair braided yesterday. So let me do a little pan. So you can see. Wanted to show y'all before I swept my edges out. Because I don't know where I'm going just yet. I might be outside for a bit. So let me just show y'all how my hair looks 
fresh. Yeah, I just figured I would try something new. I really needed something to do with my hair. I was tired of thinking about what to do with it. <laughs> and I just wanted to put it away for a while and get a protective style. So I went and got these stitch braids and it just goes back into a bun. I've never had stitch braids before and I really don't get cornrows like this. Um, so I figured I would try something new, something different, shake it up and just get something that was super low maintenance for the week. And that's what I did. I absolutely love my hair. I just wake up, brush my edges and go. And yeah, I'm just really feeling it, changing it up, switching it up. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What I'm about to do now is I have this jacket that i need to return i got it from free people online the other day it was delivered i tried it on and i really just don't like the fit of it i put it on it made me look like an oompa loompa it just doesn't have any type of shape to it i was highly disappointed because i had high hopes when i looked on the website and saw it It just looked really cool so i'm taking this back also while i'm out i'm gonna see if i can find a dressy type of look because i'm going out of town next week hopefully i have good luck there and then i'll probably get something to eat while i'm out because all I had today was that little bit of bagel and two sips of that horrific <laughs> chow latte. So let me go ahead and get on the road, return this jacket, see if I can find something for my upcoming trip, grab some lunch. The shopping was a bust. I got one thing from Urban Outfitters. I just got a sweater. I'll show you. I'll show you guys later. It's a little loud in here, but I'm getting lunch at this cute little place I just found. So I'll show y'all what I'm eating in a second. This is really good. Decided to get some vegan ice cream. Let's see. It's all right. This one right here is good. It has lemon, shortbread, and stuff like that. The chocolate one is not as good as I thought it was going to be, but it's pretty good. Just wanted something sweet. I've made up my mind. I'm going to be happy today. I'm going to enjoy my life. Another Joe Osteen hit. <laughs> anyway, back in my car. Lunch was really good. The service was outstanding. Y'all, the people in there, like it was the guy at the front, the host. Then there was, actually there were two hosts. So there was one host that I was talking to at first because I wanted to see the menu to see if I could eat anything from there. He was really nice when I came. And then there was another guy that came to the host stand and he was really nice. And he was like, pick wherever you want to sit. It's whatever you want. And then my waitress was really nice. And then on the way out, <laughs> this other waitress complimented me like, y'all, every single place that I went in today so far, I've gotten complimented on my hair. Like, no joke. So clearly this was a good idea because everyone is loving it but yeah when i was walking out this other waitress who didn't wait on me but she had seen me she was like all right bye girl and i'm like wait what then like i just showed you guys i got some ice cream because i wanted something sweet and now i'm back in my car i only got one thing while i was out i did make my return so that was good that's an extra 200 dollars back to me but then i stepped into urban outfitters and i got this sweater long sleeve knitted it just looks super cute to me and i know that it's gonna go perfectly with my i'm planning on wearing it with my high-waisted camo pants so this my camo pants and probably this bag paired with it that'll go really nicely and that'll be like one of my casual looks for my trip and that's about it but now i'm about to go to the bookstore because i finished reading all of my books and i need something new to read y'all i went to the bookstore yesterday but i had my son with me and y'all know how kids are when they are ready to go they are ready to go so we had to make a beeline out of there and i couldn't stay and really like browse and try to find the perfect book so we're gonna go back to the bookstore and see if i can find something Let's go.
I'm in the personal growth section. Look, y'all. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, you guys, so I got the 12 hour walk by Colin O'Brady. Invest one day, conquer your mind, and unlock your best life. So, yeah, y'all, I must be vibrating on <laughs> an unusually high level today for me, I guess, because people are being uncharacteristically uber nice to me today. Like, to the point where I'm like, um, because <laughs> people are just being like over the top nice to me today, and I'm not really used to that <laughs> i mean i'm used to people being cordial hey how you doing you know um here you go thank you stuff like that but people are just going above and beyond to be extra nice today and even when i was in i had stopped in this one store this lady that was like checking people out she seemed like she had kind of an attitude but when i got up there she she still seemed like she had kind of an attitude but she did um give me a compliment and she kind of lightened up so i don't know maybe i'm just spreading light to people right now I'll take that. Um, I'm gonna head back. I have some work to do. Gotta bang that out. And that's pretty much my day. So I'll catch up with y'all probably tomorrow. Good morning, y'all. It is the next day. I am chilling hard, as you can see. Um, I've been editing. This has pretty much been an editing morning. It's almost 12 o'clock and I've been editing all morning. This particular video that I'm working on, I've actually been editing it off and on for the past week. No joke, y'all. It's taking me that long because I'll sit down to edit for an hour or two, then I'll get up, do stuff, put it off. The next day I'll do 30 minutes of editing, stuff like that. Yeah, I don't know why it's taking me this long on this particular video, but it has, because it has like a lot of components to it. So I think it was just kind of overwhelming and I just <laughs> didn't want to tackle it. But I feel really accomplished that now it's finally done. I'm exporting it now so that I can upload it to YouTube, get that scheduled. But y'all, I I really need an editor. I was telling y'all before in a previous vlog that I edit all my videos. Everything is done by me. And I feel like if I had an editor, it would just make my life so much easier. So if any of you guys out there are editors or you know of a good video editor, please send them my way because I could certainly use some help. It would just take a lot off my plate. There's Kenzo right there chilling in the back taking a nap he always likes to be somewhere around me while i'm editing but yeah oh i wanted to tell you guys i'm doing something a little different these days you probably can't tell right now but i'm actually growing out my eyebrows usually for those of you that keep up with like especially my makeup videos my makeup routines and stuff like that y'all know i usually shave off the second half of my eyebrow and i draw it on just because i like to be able to create the arch but i don't know like a month ago i was like why not see if i can try to grow out my eyebrows so i can get a more natural look a more full look without having to fill them in so much i have been just pretty much overlining my brows because my natural brows are just growing out all over the place i'll go ahead and insert a clip of what my natural brows look like without any filling so you guys can see what i'm talking about it's not as crisp as i would like so i've been overlining my brows kind of like how people overline their lips but that's because i'm trying to contain all the hairs well as much of the hairs as possible within the brow lines so this is what i did today i just did a really quick five minute face because i just wanted to do something really natural and easy because for the most part i'm editing today and then i'm after this after i upload this video i believe i'm gonna go and grab some lunch so i wanted to look presentable but i still didn't want to do a lot i'm thinking about trying this new vegan place well it's not new but it's new to me because i've never been there i saw it on google yesterday i think i'll go there for lunch just to try something new
right y'all so it is quite a few days later it's the next week today is like my grooming day getting myself ready day because i'm going to be leaving today's tuesday i'm going to be leaving on thursday for my trip so i had to go get some luggage because my luggage is really beat up worn it needs to be thrown out and i've been meaning to get new luggage for a while now so i was like let me go ahead and do it now first i went to walmart they had a horrible selection their luggage was not the greatest so i came over here to marshall's and i picked up a new suitcase and i also got like this under the seat bag which also has like a roller feature and it'll just be really nice so i have my luggage situation sorted out right now what i'm about to do right now oh i gotta go to the hair store and get some hair because i'm sad to leave this hairstyle y'all it's hung on really really nicely i've had it in for a week and it still looks really good but i'm gonna have to take this out tonight because tomorrow i'm gonna go and get my hair braided again <laughs> two times in two weeks i gotta like i said go get some hair for that and then i gotta get my nails done y'all look at my nails so i gotta get my nails done today gotta get my braiding hair i gotta get all my outfits together get packed tonight that's pretty much it let me turn this car on it's hot yeah, that's pretty much my plan for today. Right now, though, I'm about to go and get a chai latte, y'all. <laughs> I'm still kind of upset in my spirit about that horrible chai latte that I had last week. And I think it's even more magnified because I tried this new place this morning, y'all. I was like, oh, this place just opened. Let me try them and see if they have a good chai latte. That chai latte was just as bad as that other one I had. I cannot believe that so many places are doing such bad chai lattes. I feel like it's such an easy thing to make. But yeah, let's go to this coffee shop, run these errands, and that'll be that. <laughs> long day running around um but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here hope you all enjoyed and i'll see you over on my next one bye